Hello survivors and welcome to Mikey's Gaming Oasis. Today we are going to be continuing our ongoing series on the custom cosmetics and mods available on Ark Survival Ascended. The mod we are going over today is an offering from Klinger Martins. It is his new premium mod available in the mod store for $5 called Reinforced Concrete. You may have seen this in one of Wildcard's recent videos. Kind of looks something like this, but that doesn't mean you've seen it all. So what are we going to do? We're going to go through it just like we would any other mod, except for we are not grading it this time. We are looking at it purely to show you what is in the mod and appreciate the hard work that this individual and the, his mod team has done to make this possible. On another note, I appreciate all your support in my endeavor in creating these videos. However, I have noticed in the last 28 days that approximately 88% of you are not subscribed. I get it. I forget to hit that sub button too sometimes, but it would really help this small channel like mine if you'd hit that sub button. So without further ado, let us get into it and see what this mod has to offer. Okay, survivors, before we get into the custom cosmetics, let's go over how to access them in Ark Survival Ascendant. So if you haven't seen this before, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your menu, you're gonna go to the eye icon that says custom cosmetics. Once you click on that, it is going to give you two different menus. On the left side, it's gonna give you the items that allows custom, that allows cosmetics. You'll have your survivor skin, your structure, and then your armor here, as well as your dino if you have cosmetics for your dinos. On the right side, you're gonna see a the list of all the cosmetics that you have currently downloaded and accessible in whichever game mode you are playing. Keep in mind, some cosmetics do not work on official at this time. So for this one, we're gonna be going over the Klinger Martins, which is right here. So we'll just take the first one and we'll throw it right in here, right on the structure skin. You see how it stays in there? So what I like to do is I like to test and see if it's gonna go in my hot bar. So I'm gonna grab it, drag it, see if it goes in the hot bar. It does not go in the hot bar. So what that means is you have to go to back to inventory, go to the cosmetics tab in your inventory here, and then you have to find that skin in your inventory. There it is. And then you just hit the activation key for your particular console or PC. In my case, it is E. And there we go. I can then start to apply it. So with this particular mod, you have eight different skins, and then you have six more skins to make those other ones clean. In other words, removing the environmental effects to them. We'll go over the differences and changes in each one of these skins, and one of them is a special one. This one right here is for your vacuum pod skins, your, your vacuum container skins. So we'll look at that as well. So, as always, if you're familiar with my videos, you know that I have all of them set up. This is the first skin in the pack right here. It works on everything except for your trap doors, your doors and windows. It gives a nice, almost polished concrete, reinforced concrete look to all of your structures, to in, except for those that were just mentioned. It is very nice. I love the slats that they give on the railing here. It's very nice. This right here is a representation of the next skin. It works on everything just like the previous one, okay? The difference is the way the single wall looks has a slat in it like so. The ramp has a slat in it like so. And the quarter walls and railings change slightly also. So the next one here, this is the third skin in the offering here. And th what this one does is it changes the same objects, except for there is a difference with this skin. This skin also works. Let me change it out here. Drop that into there. Unfortunately, this does not go into my hot bar, so we'll have to do it the, the old school way. This one also works on your doorways and your windows, as well as your 
Dino Gate Door. It does not work on your Behe Gate Door, though. It does work on the Behe Gates themselves. We'll get more into those in a little bit. The fourth offering in this set right here is the Bars. This works on everything except for your trap door and your ladder, as well as your stairs. It does not work on your stairs. Uh, your it does not work on your stairs, your ramps, or your staircases, the curved ones. It turns everything into bars. So if you want to make a nice jail jail cell, it's all there, guys. I do want to check one thing with this particular skin. I haven't checked yet. And that is, does it work on the Behe Gate and the Dino Gateway? So we're going to throw this in here. Go back to my inventory, go to my cosmetics, and click on it and select it. Again, it does not work on your trap doors. It does work on your Dino Gateway and on your Behe Gate. So... There we go. That is a night. That those. That's awesome. Uh, I hats off to you, Klinger. That is amazing. Okay, so if you give me one moment, I will jump over and we will take a look at what is the differences. Actually, we'll do this together. Change it up a little bit instead of you guys having to wait for me to clean everything up and then do a split screen and all that craziness. So we're gonna try and make this as unedited as possible. So we're gonna go here. Oops. Go here. We're going to go into here and see what this changes. Oh, makes them into windows. Does it work on the doors? It works on the doors. Oh, and it changes the look of the, of the doorways as well. I really like that. That is beautiful. The hatches and the... Doesn't really change the foundations except for let's see if what it does with the quarter foundations. No, nope, doesn't really change the foundations. No real change to the ramp. Oh, the ceiling tiles are nice. Let's see what these look like. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so with this one, oh, I forgot a structure here. Let's Go to this last structure here. I'm human. Bear with me, guys. Okay, so again, it does not work on your staircase. It does not work on your trap doors or your ladders. But it does change your ceiling tiles, your triangle ceiling tiles, your quarter ceiling tiles into almost windows. It changes all your walls into windows. And it changes the doorways quite considerably to a nice geometric window shape. I really do like that. Let's see what it does with the ramp here. We forgot about the ramp. And it does the same with the ramp as well as the, sorry, the roof as well as the triangle roofs. That I think is awesome. That is gorgeous. I have building ideas running through my head. And we're going to go to the next one here. which is the reinforced stair cosmetics. So we're going to come here and see what this does with the stairs. Okay, nothing there. I really don't see a difference in that. Okay, it'll turn your ramps into stairs and it'll turn your your uh, your roofs into stairs. Let's as well as your triangle roofs. Okay. Doesn't really change these. Nope. Doesn't work on your doors. Okay. That's interesting. No real change to the... To the railings. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look at the next one here. Wrong button, sorry. And this one is the Brick Wall Cosmetics. So we're going to go back. Going to go here. 
I'm guessing this is going to go for the Dino and Behe gate. Very nice. So it turn your, turns your gates into that wall look. Does it still work as a gate? That is the question. Yes, it does. Still works as a gate. Okay. Okay. I like that. Then if we come into here, we're going to go look at that last one. Which is the vacuum chamber. For the vacuum chamber, I'm gonna we're gonna have to jump over to where my vacuum chambers are. So give me one moment, guys. So as you can see, survivors, we are now in the water where we have six vacuum chambers set up. And as you see, if you look down in the hot bar here, you see that the skin is actually loadable in the hot bar. It is the only skin in this project or in this skin pack that is available in the hot bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to throw a couple of these on here to see what we can do with them. Let's play with them together. Can we do anything? We can change the sides. Top, ceiling. We can. Okay, so we can open it up to where we remove the skin on that individual side. What else can we do? Remove skin structure, obviously. Floor, ceiling. Okay. Okay. So it just allows us to remove the skin from particular sides. But that's still a very nice look for the, for the pods, honestly. So let's run back over to our main area, our testing area, and we will see if this skins are paintable. Okay, survivors, so we are back at our main testing site, and we are going to see if these skins are paintable. As always, we're going to throw in a little bit of green, just because it's green and it's there. Okay, and we are going to paint. Oh, they are paintable. Very nice. Okay, let's see about the doors. It doesn't get every region but it does give that nice highlight to it. Very nice. Okay. So it is paintable. Awesome. Okay, survivors. So that concludes our review of Klinger Martin's newest premium mod cosmetics that is available in the mod store for $5 right now. I hope this video was informative and showed you what you'd be getting when you purchase this beautiful cosmetic mod. Again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and give the video a like. Hope to see you next time.